Many of you are interested in creating registration forms for your Zoom sessions. So let me show you how that's done. You need to have a pro, but right now with the COVID-19, everyone is a pro, so that's great. So first of all, you schedule a new meeting. So click on that. Once you get into a new meeting, you're gonna give your meeting a name. So I would give it a description. Mind you, uh, you can't really get any active links here, but you can add them. People can um, copy and paste them in their browser window. That's a shame. I would like to have that option here, but it's not available. Then you can set the time wherever that happens to be, your time zone, if it's recurring or not. Now, registration, make it a requirement. So let's take a look at that. The requirement is right here. Registration required at that. Okay, the required is right there. And um, for some reason, if you've noticed this, Zoom has a tendency whenever you click anywhere, uh, this comes up. Okay, all of these come up. Next, once you um, get the required registration, you can decide how you want it. Require a password. Doesn't really matter if you have it or not, but you might want it. All right, and then um, you decide the video, how you want it, and so on. And then whether you want to enable the waiting room. Okay, that's all up to you. Next, you save. Okay, so first of all, you're going to save it. After you've saved it, you're going to scroll down, and this is where the fun begins. And here you've got these options. Notice you have email settings, branding, poll. Okay, the live you can't do in advance, but that's an option too. If you're interested in that, let me know. I love their live online streaming. You can do it through um, Facebook or through um, YouTube. Under registration, you can have, okay, let's go back to the registration so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our registration email saying branding poll and live streaming, as I said, but if we go into registration, notice what you can do here. You can actually edit. Okay, so um, let's go into the edit over here on the right. And under edit, you'll have these options, questions and custom questions. Well, just don't forget to save them all. So this is your chance to uh, shine and do whatever you want to do. So approval, you can decide if you want automatic approve, manually approve. Send an email to host when someone registers. Now, I like this part because I like to know when people are registering, unless you've got thousands and then you don't want to bother with this. Next, um, you can decide this if you want to allow them to use different uh, devices. Next, and I think this is really important, the questions, what kind of information do you want to get? Okay, and you want to make it a requirement. So these are the fields, last name, address, city. Okay, you don't want to get too personal because people won't fill it in, but that depends on you. Phone industry, you might want to have industry organization, job title, that's a good one. Uh, people don't mind filling that in. Uh, purchasing, well, role in purchase process, that's another story, number of employees. Okay, you can get really technical, but you can also have custom questions, and you might want to do that. So let's go into the custom questions right there. Click on them and see what's available. You can create your own questions. You can add a new question. It's up to you, and here it is. So you can have the type short answer required question um, if you want to get more information about them before your class, like their backgrounds, uh, the kind of work that they do, depending on whatever session you're giving. If I'm giving a session on mindfulness, I might want to know if they've had a practice before, if this is their first time, if they had what it's like. You can also ask a single question. Notice a question with an answer and uh, add answer. This could be a multiple choice question, answer yes, no, maybe, and so on. So it's really, really um, a great way to connect with your audience before the session. And that's it. Uh, let me continue with uh, what else you can do. All right. So notice uh, right now it's zero. And I think that's important because you get an idea of how many people have signed up. They can't come to your session unless they sign up. So this gives you a really good indication of uh, what's up and whether you should promote your class a little bit more if you're not getting enough people. All right, so next we're gonna go into branding and this is where you can actually promote yourself. And I think that's really important. 
So under the banner, notice the uh, size here, which is important, and uh, the image requirements are, okay, all of these formats over here, plus, notice this one, dimensions. Okay, that's the smallest, and that's the maximum. Okay, I like to put the largest, but it's up to you. And then, of course, once you get your image up, I use Canva, but you can use whatever is good for you. You upload it. Next is your logo. Now, notice with the logo, okay, let's see what's available here. The size is different. It's a square, and there are two squares. One is 400 by 400, and the other one is 200 by 200. It's up to you. And that's how it's done. Once you get that up, let me show you what it looks like. So I have a template with the following notice. Uh, it's called Mindfulness Practice, and that's my banner, and my, that's my logo. So what I can do now, I can simply, I can change it, of course, or I can schedule a meeting with this template. So let me do that so I can show you what it's like. So I'm going to schedule a meeting. Okay, so everything is set. Again, you can decide how you want it. And um, let's see if there's anything missing. So let's click on Save. Okay, so right now you saw the, the branding you saw. Okay, there's the branding, the registration. So let's take a look at it to view it to see what participants will see. So this is what participants will see. Okay, I think that's pretty neat. Okay, they'll have to fill it in. I just want to show you how you can view. So you go into your registration link. Okay, this is the registration link. All right, so make sure that you click on it. And again, this is what you will see. Let me know how it goes. Try it and see. You can always delete if you don't like it and try again. What I like about it is also the fact that you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also by email. So keep that in mind. It's a great way to promote your meeting. And subscribe. Don't forget. Thanks.